Diego family is resorting to social media to try and get help to their loved ones stuck in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Of course, the U.S. territory hit by both hurricanes Irma and then by Maria. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis explains what this family has been up against now for days. They're in survival mode. It's been a long month for the Gamboas with little sleep and a lot of tears waiting by the phone. My heart is just broken. My hands are tied. We can't do anything. We keep going online. No one's helping. Christine Gamboa's older sister Janelle lives in the U.S. Virgin Islands with her three sons. The youngest is just four months old. She's dedicated all her life to her boys. Her home in St. Thomas was destroyed by Irma, so she took the boys to another island, St. Croix, where Maria hit next. She was running out of formula, you know, just breastfeeding, eating off what, peanut butter, maybe cereal for the last two weeks. They've had little communication with Janelle, who has to walk up a mountain for cell service. The family has asked authorities to check on her, but that hasn't happened. So they put their faith in social media. She's been helping me for days now. A woman in Michigan who used to live on the islands is pulling every resource she has to find Janelle. And after our interview, she gave them some peace of mind. You did a lot more than anyone else. Um, uh, I don't know what to say because uh, I'm just glad right now that somebody got to her and is saying that um, she's safe. She is safe. A friend checked on Janelle and says she's okay, but still needs assistance. She's she's a total stranger, but she she helped us through just social media. They say the nightmare isn't over, but knowing good people want to help makes the minutes and hours more bearable. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News.